Hey guys, I'm here today to show you how to knit Sweet Like Blanket, the latest free PDF download from Wool and the Gang. Just click on the link in the description below to get your very own. It's very simple, it's very fun, it's very easy, it's meant for babies, so any of you with babies in your life maybe need to make a present, maybe you got your own. It's perfect. It's also perfect for beginners, not super duper beginners, not like this is my first knitting project beginners, but like just after. And all you need is three of these, this is shiny happy cotton, we've chosen Chalk yellow, because it's great. A tape measure, your pattern, some scissors, a needle, some knitting needles, specifically size 8 US or 5 mils. We're going to teach you through way of lots of knitting and purling how to make this beautiful moss slash seed stitch baby blanket. Let's go. So the very first step to making your blanket is getting all of your stitches onto your needle, all 109, like we have here. And we'll be teaching you how to get all of your stitches on your needle using the cable cast-on technique. And here's a bit of a blanket I made earlier, and this hopefully shows you why we're going to be using that technique. It gives a really lovely, clean, and elegant, and neat finish. Okay, so step one is to create our slip knot. Our slip knot is effectively the very first stitch of our blanket. We begin by just unraveling some of the yarn from the ball and then at the tail end, so that side, pick it up with your left hand. A little bit further down, pick it up with your right hand. Take that left hand, lift it over, make a loop. Ideally make a loop big enough for both of your fingers to fit through. Pick up that tail end again. And there you go. You have a nice little slip knot. Now what needs to happen is you put it onto your needle and then you just pull it a little bit tighter against the needle. But yeah, snug, not super tight because you have to get the other needle through there eventually too. There you go. Your first stitch is on. So now we're ready to get the other 108 stitches onto this needle. With your left hand, pick up the needle with the slip knot on. And what we're going to do is you take the other needle in your right hand and then you're just going to put it through that loop and then picking up the yarn that is attached to the ball, very important, in your right hand, you just loop around the right hand needle, give it a cheeky push, scoop it up, make it nice and long because then we're going to bring it over that left hand needle, pull it a little bit tighter. And there you go. Two lovely stitches on your needle. Only 107 to go. So then what you need to do actually is just uh, insert your needle in between these stitches. And then lift it over, just like you did before. Push it down, scoop it up, pull, lift it over. There you go. And that's how you continue. And you just continue and continue until you've done the full 109 stitches. Exactly like this. All right guys, hopefully you have 109 stitches on one of your needles, great work. And now we're gonna get going on showing you how to do the moss stitch, or for you Americans, the seed stitch. I also want to show you why we're gonna end up slipping the very first stitch on your needle at the beginning of every row. The reason is, check out this beautiful edge, nice and neat, that's why. So now we're finally ready to actually get knitting our moss stitch. So, we begin by first lifting that very first stitch just straight off your left needle and onto your right needle. And that's for that really nice neat edge that we looked at just before. So, just insert your right needle under, lift it up and over, give it a cheeky tug, done. And now the entire moss stitch is just made up of alternating knit and purl stitches. That's it. We're gonna start with a knit stitch. So you insert that right needle through the loop 
underneath on your left needle. Bring that yarn round, push it down, scoop it up, and lift it over. So now we've got a pearl because we're alternating, remember? So we just put that yarn in between and bring it to the front. With purling, it should always be at the front. And then insert that needle down. Bring the yarn around like that. And lift it over. Now bring the yarn to the back, because now we're knitting. And push, and scoop it up, and lift. And a little tuck. Yarn in the middle. And that's it. That's it. That's the whole gig. So now you just keep going for 109 stitches. And then we'll explain what to do on the next row. So if you look at these three stitches here, you'll see that this one has a little lump here. This one has a bit more of a V, and then we're back to the little lump again. Now these two little lumps, those are purl stitches. This V over here, that's a knit stitch. So that's it. So we've done our first row, and now we just need to see how do we start the second row, because as soon as you can master that, you can basically just keep on going. We begin by doing exactly the same as last time. Remember? Just take your right hand needle, stick it under, lift it up off the left hand needle, give it a cheeky tug, that's it. And then we're going to knit the stitch, the next one, loop it around, push it down, scoop it up, lift it over, then bring that yarn forward again for your purl stitch. There we go. And scoop and lift, and so on and so forth. Just knitting and purling forever. After a little bit of time, hopefully your blanket is starting to look something like this. And you can see that lovely moss stitch or seed stitch pattern emerging. I just want to take a break for a second and just show you a little trick so that you know that you're doing the right stitch. Here we're trying to get all of our new stitches onto our right needle. So what we need to do actually is just look at our left needle and you'll see that pearl bump there, the knit V and that pearl bump again. So what we know is this is a pearl stitch, which actually means that our new stitch needs to be the opposite. So it needs to be a knit stitch. And off we go. And so now we see that V, and we know we need to bring our yarn forward and do the opposite stitch, do the purl stitch. There we go, scoop and bring it over. And again, there's our bump. So we've got a knit stitch. So bring that yarn to the back, scoop it under, and lift it up, and so on and so forth. And how do you know you've reached the end of your blanket? Well, it's when you've got to 23.5 inches or 60 centimeters from the edge of your lovely cable cast edge. When you've got to that stage, you know that it's time to do some casting off. So that's what we're gonna go on to next. Okay guys, now we're ready to cast off. Step one is just knitting these two stitches and getting them onto your right needle. So here we go. We've done this a thousand times before. One, and oh, one more time, one more time, and two. Okay, lovely. Now we have two stitches on your right hand needle. And what we're gonna do now is actually lift this stitch over that one and off your right needle entirely.
It's a little bit fiddly because the yarn's a bit thinner, as you can see. So you might have to use your fingers as well. And there we go. Beautiful. So then we just need to repeat that move again. Knit a stitch in order to get two stitches over on your right hand needle. And then again, just bring that bottom one over that one and over the needle entirely. And again, it's a little fiddly, but we're going to get there. And there we go. So that's it. And we just keep going. That is the long and the short of casting off. So just bear with me. I just got a few more to do. Right guys, we should just have one solitary little stitch left on our right hand needle. Now you should be able to kind of just admire that handiwork, that super sweet cast off edge right there. Great. So now we need to get this guy off, right? And we need to do it in a nice and tidy fashion. So first measure a prox, like 10-ish centimeters. That's 10-ish. 10-ish, 4-ish inches. And we're going to give him, oh, we're going to give him a little chop. Here we go. Right. So now all you do is just pull. <laughs> just pull. And that's it. That is it. So now, though, we have this 10 centimeters. We can't just chop it off because it runs the risk of unraveling. So what we have to do is sneak it in here and weave it in and we're going to do that with the use of our good friend the needle okay so now that we've threaded it all we're going to do is just weave in and out of our existing stitches and until we've basically finished it so that without disturbing any of these stitches and just so that this is hidden so we're going this side and this side and a little sneak back over here and just zigging and zagging and weaving. And you'll see that it's not too visible it's not disturbing stitches. And then when you feel like you've done enough, I think I'm gonna do a couple more. Okay, one more, one more, one more, one more. Ooh. Then just grab those scissors and give it a little snip. Done. <laughs> Bam. And just because we didn't think there was anyone better to model Sweet Like Blanket, a baby blanket, than an actual baby, we have Sally, who seems to be more interested in the needles. You need a needle, don't touch. You need some scissors and a baby if you got one. Let go of the scissors. <laughs> <laughs> Cut! <laughs> <laughs>